Court case involving six states is named Joseph Biden v. State of Nebraska. Brian Mastry joins us with a look at Nebraska's role and reaction to today's testimony at the U.S. Supreme Court. He joins us now live from the newsroom. Brian, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Lauren. A short time ago, Nebraska Attorney General Mike Hilgers wrapped up a Zoom interview from D.C. The Supreme Court has been asking questions and hearing testimony regarding that student debt relief for nearly four hours today. I asked the Attorney General his reaction to what he heard and if it made him think the justices were leaning one way or another. I'm not in a prediction game. I will say, though, going into the argument, um, we were very well prepared. Uh, General Campbell, Jim Campbell, was very well prepared, did an outstanding job had answers to the questions that were provided to him. Coming in, we felt uh, we had a really good argument on the merits and on standing. I think coming out of it, there were no arguments on either of those two that really put us um, coming out of it, you know, a lot of pause as to, to whether we would be, um, whether something we didn't consider or something that we think really undermines the thrust of our argument. Hildreth calls this an important case for the country when it comes to separation of powers and that if student debt relief is allowed without action from Congress, it would drastically widen the scope of power for a president and his team. No doubt, John, the scope is wide when we're talking about student debt relief. The White House has estimated it would impact 232,000 Nebraskans, 400,000 Iowans. Get this, some 26 million Americans have already applied to get up to $20,000 forgiven. Yeah, Brad, quite a demonstration in Washington. When can we expect to hear a decision from the court? John, we are thinking sometime in late June. Back to you.